ignore my little bit uh, my brother and my little sister playing in the background but what is up guys welcome back to my channel and today i mean obviously throughout this whole week you guys are basically going to be seeing what in a week i'll probably be doing voiceovers just to not make the video long just for that type of purpose and yeah so i'll just be you know showing the e and i will be showing you know all that kind of stuff but yeah so right now it's morning time i just got done cleaning for as of right now and i'm going to be making my breakfast my morning shake but um yeah so i'm not i just want to say that it's just what i eat because yes again i am 15 and i try to maintain my body as much as i can i'm try just trying to maintain my weight and if if anything also lose weight what i'm going to just be saying really fast before we get into the video because I do this every single day except weekends. I drink a shot of apple cider apple cider vinegar with a two. I drink one teaspoon or approximately about that amount of apple cider vinegar with a teaspoon of apple. I mean with lim with just lemon juice and that's what I drink. And then I add just a little bit of water and I take that shot and then I get into my morning shake and then I eat. I just want to say I eat a lot, so just be prepared to see lots of meals because. I eat a lot of meals and a lot of snacks so yeah I just want to say that and yeah so let's just get into the video and you guys will see everything that I make hi guys okay so this is my first voiceover so please don't drag me on the way that I sound but I'm basically showing that I'm going to use a teaspoon as a measurement and I'm gonna cut a lemon in half and I'm gonna use like a little bit of half the lemon and apple cider vinegar make sure it has the including the mother sign on it because if not it's not going to help you with your weight loss which apple cider vinegar helps a lot with weight loss and also reducing cholesterol and also lemon provokes weight loss it helps your immune system it's anti anti-inflammatory and it also helps your skin so much so i definitely recommend you know obviously trying this for yourself it works really well it's been helping me and so yeah also i just want to say that this um this um specific drink and also i'm going to be showing my weight loss drink that i drink in the morning i make it every morning i'm just showing it for right now i don't want to get annoying so yeah <laughs> so yeah here I'm going to boil uh, organic green tea. You can use any green tea. I just boil a cup. I put it on the side and then I let that vibe on the side. <laughs> but anyways, I use one apple. I use ice. I use, that's not lemon. That's grapefruit. Um, it's just a different type of grapefruit. I, we grow a tree. I have a tree in the back. So I use that. And then I use a, cel a full celery stick. Um, to go along with it and then half of a lemon like i just use the juice and look at my little sister in the back for what like why <laughs> anyways uh yeah so i cut up some ginger and then i use um some chopped kale or you could use spinach as an alternative um so both really works i drink this juice i make um i'm only gonna show this once as of for right now because i drink it every morning every time i make this drink i um so basically, I make it for like two days, and I make it now, and then I put half of it into a mason jar, and then I just keep it stored in the refrigerator, so I, that way I don't have to make it. So basically, I drink it this morning, and then I have my next mason jar ready for tomorrow. But yes, I'm adding two tablespoons right there of organic powder. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check that what it says again. You guys can see the name of it. And then I add, I go ahead, and then I add the the... Oh my god, I cannot speak. <laughs> I add the green tea, I add some ice, and just a little bit of water. And then, yeah, so I cut up some pineapple. Uh, you can really just use a portion of it. It doesn't really matter how much, I mean, it doesn't matter how much you use, but just make sure that you're using a good amount of a portion. Um, I cut it up, don't look the prettiest, and I promise my counter is clean. I clean it before I always cut up stuff or before I know that my food's going to touch the counter. So do not worry, I am a clean person. And here's it blending up. Okay guys, so now it's my breakfast and I'm going to be making vegan chorizo 
um, burritos basically for my breakfast in the morning. I'm just showing the ingredients that I'm using here. That's the that's the morning star that I use. I mean the morning star uh, chorizo that I use. It is actually really good, and I promise you guys, it literally tastes exactly like chorizo, and it does not taste like like plants or like whatever is in there at all. I just want to say quickly that I am not a vegan, so don't you know tell me like hey you're using cheese like you're not supposed to be doing that or you're using this you know what i mean so yeah but anyways i'm using avocado oil and obviously just spreading that over, all over the pan and i'm going to cook myself some egg white because you know uh, egg whites are obviously healthier than you know the the yellow part inside of the egg the yolk but as i was saying that i'm not a vegan i just like eating vegan I like eating vegan foods. I enjoy it. It's actually really good. Some of the things that I really like and something I'm not I'm just not a complete vegan. I just like eating vegan foods. I'm sorry if that's confusing. But yeah, so I just put spinach. I just added some spinach into my egg whites and then I ended up just cooking some asparagus and I just like heated it up. I had already had it in a topper from a couple days ago, so I just had it in there so I just figured I wouldn't cook more if I already had some so I just did that added some salt and pepper on and pepper onto it and I didn't show that but now I'm heating up a tortilla you can use a healthy tortilla we just didn't have any more and so I just had to use what we had and now I just add the chorizo which I meant to add the spinach first but I don't know why I just added that but it's okay either way it was fine but i ended up putting up some tomatoes just adding that in and just adding all the ingredients that you will see in and yeah So here's my snack that I'm I'm eating basically during my home doing my homework. But I'm basically cutting up some apple slices in really thin slices and pairing them up with each other to make kind of like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich kind of thing. It's not obviously with bread or anything, but obviously using apples and obviously fruit is way more healthier. So I put some almond butter onto them. And then usually and then for the jelly part I used honey to top it off acting like as if it was like you know what I mean like jelly even though it's not and it's not the same consistency but it's really good like I promise you try this and you'll be surprised of how good this is I just try not making the same snacks every day because I wanted to show different but I honestly eat these so much they're so good and we have so much apples But yeah, so there's me enjoying it. Say hi. Hi. Okay, guys, so I quickly want to say it's really important to drink water. So please drink water and stay hydrated because it is very, very, very important in your daily life for your body and for everything that your body needs. So yeah, I'm basically going to make a tea and I'm using the jasmine tea and all the teas that I showed or any type of tea that I use. And I made, um, I, I boiled a lot of water because I made a serving for me and my mom. And every time I make a tea, I always add lemon in it usually, or if not, like, you know, some ginger, but I usually make ginger. Hi guys, so it's the afternoon right now and um, basically, oh gosh, please excuse my mess because I'm about to clean right after I make my food and my protein shakes. I'm about to make my protein shake. I just got done with my workout. I worked out for approximately like um, an hour and like about 30 minutes around there um a little bit more probably but um yeah so basically i got my workout in i just washed my face because i was oh my god and yeah so it's probably been like 10 minutes since my workout so yeah this is my afternoon part of my day and whatever i make for my for like my, my late night snack because i really don't i eat dinner but uh recently i really haven't been i don't know i've, I've had, i haven't had much appetite 
but I do eat a lot so probably like you know some days I'll make a dinner sometimes I won't but I'm about to eat like you know basically my because it is right now it is 7.03 I got done with my homework and um and you know like once I eat my snack and stuff I really I really don't have much appetite so you know I might not be cooking three meals a day but I might some days but yeah so I'm about to go and make my dinner lunch I guess you would say and then like late at night like I, I, and then like I make like a late night snack so that's what I eat but yes you guys will be seeing okay hi guys sorry I'm annoying I know but basically I'm making my protein shake here and I'm adding just some ice some vanilla cashew milk I added a whole banana which bananas have like a lot of vitamin c they're good for your skin and they also have potassium and it gives you energy so it's really good also chia seeds I add in you know, quite a lot. Um, chia seeds honestly are really good and and energy, and they they contain a lot of fiber and it cleans your colon. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I say it like that. I'll correct myself on the screen. But yeah, I add blueberries and strawberries, which also blueberries can are low in calories and high in nutrients. Also contain fiber, vitamin K and C. And then I add in Greek yogurt, whatever Greek yogurt really corresponds to my smoothie that I'm making. And then I add the protein right there that I'm showing. You guys are going to see a good view in it, but you guys will see a, view, a good view in it later on. And yeah, now it's blending. And now we're going to get onto what I made for food. And now I'm going to make for my dinner, lunch, whatever, because I finished homework late. Some salmon with some vegetable rolls and then some mushrooms and i'll see right now because i forgot what i made <laughs> So after heating up the mushrooms and the green beans, I use some canola oil or however you pronounce it and then I usually put my salmon on it and then I'm just going to season that and you'll see with some paprika, uh, salt and pepper you guys will soon see and then I'm going to cut up some grape tomatoes. And then I heat the, the little grape tomatoes up and then I just I'm gonna put them on the side once they're done. You'll see how they're gonna be ready. <laughs> and my sister also, oh my god, if the ankles are moving stupid and weird and so bouncy and everything, I'm so sorry. My little sister is such a bad recorder. <laughs> she has her good times and her bad times. Oh, also use that lemon uh, that lemon uh, seasoning. You will see you guys will see the name of it. So I'm really sorry. And I like my salmon really cooked. And yeah, voila, that's my <laughs> okay guys it is day two and it is 7 20 a.m so i work out in the morning and in the afternoon so if you guys are confused that is the juice that i put in the mason jar that i drink the next day the same as the other day and my apple cider vinegar. hi guys it's day two so right now it's a nice day the sun is out um I'm pretty sure, like, you can see, like, it might within, like, the glare because, you know, yesterday wasn't so nice. But, yeah, so today it's, like, nice outside. So, today is day two of cooking, and I just got done with my workout. So, it is 9.02. I mean, I got done with my workout probably, like, 20 minutes ago. I just washed my face, put aloe vera on my face as well. So, like, you know, I was just doing some things, getting undressed and stuff. And so, it's 9.02 right now. I'm about to start making some healthy pancakes. So, if you guys want to make some healthy pancakes and you know do good for yourself then do it you know what i mean do it okay so after my motivational speech i'm going to sh basically show you what i use to make my like my flour consistency i guess you could say which i'm going to use one cup of oats if i and i suggest if you're just making this for yourself you use one banana and you use only two eggs not more than that um, I made a lonely a little bit for my sis my little sister and just like one for my mom. She had already ate, so yeah. But if you make more, then you know obviously add up more ingredients, probably double it if 
like, you know, we, you're going to make it for like four people or five, you know, because it doesn't make as much as you probably want it to. <laughs> and I laugh so hard when I see my little sister's feet. Oh, my God. But yeah, basically, that's your batter right there. And then I added and then I added some cinnamon and blueberries, mixed that up. And then I put that onto the pan with and heated up with some butter. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I basically got like that turkey stick, cut it up into like my egg and put it within that. And then I cut up some strawberries and added some extra blueberries, you know, from like a more fruity taste because I have a really, really big sweet tooth. And I don't know if you can tell by the amount of fruits that I use during the day. So basically that's what I use. And then I put almond butter and some um, all natural honey, 100% um, basically honey on my pancake. <laughs> Okay, so these are the ingredients that I'm going to use in my smoothie bowl. And I just want to say that frozen fruits really make the best consist consistency. And I made a serving for about two people, so I would use half of the ingredients that I used, if I'm being honest. Um, it's really just the right amount of things that you, I mean, the right amount of, like, frozen fruits and the right amount of, like, liquid that you put in. I used peanut butter, you really couldn't see there. And I added some cauliflower, but I promise you, it does not taste like nothing at all, like cauliflower. It doesn't taste like that at all. But I also use like one fourth of a cup, like you would say, like a flax seeds. They carry really good nutrients in them, so I really suggest you adding them into your daily like smoothies or whatsoever. It's really healthy. And yeah, so I blend it up. It's kind of tricky once you're first doing it. Make sure that you have probably like something like maybe like a spoon and like not beat it, but like you know, just like push it in and stuff because it really gives you like it helps you so much and trust me i didn't use that stick at first but it changed the game once i used it and it was so much more easier for it to just um blend and stuff so yeah i'm basically adding that shredded coconut strawberries and i'm using some uh chocolate coconut chips and yeah i'm using that and it it was delish delicious uh, let me just tell you Okay guys, so this is my after workout shake. So as you can see, every day I try switching up my protein shake. So like, you know, I'm always like, you know, happy to, you know, drink a new protein shake. You know, you don't want to get bored. But yes, so I added in some ice, some uh, a full banana, uh, a half of an avocado because, you know, avocados are really he um, have healthy fats within them. And then uh, I added like less than one fourth of a cacao powder because you know i wanted like a chocolate smoothie but it's a really healthy alternative rather than using chocolate but cacao powder also lowers like lots of type of sicknesses helps your blood flow to your brain like it helps that and it helps the function of it as well i read a lot with that and then it also helps your diet so it's really good to include and then i added some cashew with milk and then i added some honey as you saw you guys can see things that i'm adding but i just wanted to say a little bit more about the ingredients that i'm using I drink some out of it, but yeah, that's what ended up being. Okay, so now I'm going to make my healthy shrimp pasta. So basically, I'm using whole grain pasta. Make sure that you try avoiding saturated fats. It's like really, that's really important and it's a really important key. But basically, I'm going to season my shrimp. You will see with paprika, uh, the pink salt. I don't know what the pink salt's called, but yeah, so I ended up just seasoning it with that. And then my pasta. I ended up trying this pasta for the first time. I honestly should have just stuck with my normal, like, go-to healthy pasta. But I just wanted to try out something new. Because I like trying out, like, at least one new type of food recipe every week. But I let the shrimp cook on the pan for about one minute on each side. Shrimp cooks really fast. 
but basically what I was saying was that I ended up only like the the shrimp was really good and it was so like like it was really good and really amazing I, I definitely recommend trying this it was really good except that just don't add as much garlic as I did because I ended up adding too much garlic well I think what I added on the pan was fair enough but ended up adding a little bit more off camera which was my mistake please do not add more garlic it, it tasted a lot it was really really good i'm not gonna lie i loved my pasta but like the after like um stomach pain i knew that i added a lot of garlic and you'll probably see on the pasta that it it just wasn't it like i added too much garlic so don't make that mistake but other than that the pasta came out so amazing and just the garlic part was my fault but I added two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and just, you know, played with that a little bit and just mixed that around. And then I added one cup of milk and look, let me breathe again. <laughs> and my sister, I, why? <laughs> but yeah, so I added that in. I added a little bit more milk, probably like half of, like maybe like half of the um, one cup. And then I added... Um, red crushed pepper onto it I, I added some of the go veggie parmesan cheese and then I added some ajo I don't know what it's called in English I'm sorry I'll put the name on the screen and then I added some salt and I think that was it that I added Okay guys, so by this time when I mixed in all my ingredients, I added in the pasta and then I also, you know, just mixed that in and then I added in the shrimp that I had let on the let be on the side. And then once that was done, I just added some parsley flakes and then I had boiled some vegetables. I didn't show, but I mean, I wasn't nothing really. It was, I just boiled the vegetables and I added it in. So by like around like nighttime or before, like, you know, I usually go to bed. I go to bed pretty early since I wake up and, um, you know, work out and stuff. So, so I basically just boil myself some water and then I make a ginger tea. And so you can use regular ginger and, you know, cut it up, boil some water, add it in. But I like, you know, either if I, if I run out of that ginger tea i cut up some ginger and i do that ginger is anti-inflammatory it helps your heart and it helps you lose weight obviously and then this and i use half of the lemon and obviously lemon again helps in weight loss improves your immune system and helps your skin and who doesn't want glowing skin but anyways yeah and then i add just a little bit of cinnamon and some honey and cinnamon is loaded with antioxidants it's anti-inflammatory anti -inflammatory as well and then uh wildflower honey is the one that i'm using and it also uh, prevents i don't know why i can't speak heart conditions and it also reduces inflammatory inflammations or whatever so for my night snack my night snack that day i just made myself a banana bread with honey it was so good so i had run out of um almond butter so i use peanut butter which is perfectly fine you can go ahead and use peanut butter but i just love you know almond butter especially because it's like you know more healthier and it is just great and amazing it tastes so good but i use uh like a banana ate the rest of it i just cut up into thin slices and added some honey it was bomb and yes yeah, so this video was long enough so i'm going to do the rest on my next part so just stay tuned i love you guys all thank you guys for watching peace